I know that you have participated in many agile transformations, right? So let's do some exercise. I'm the CEO of an online gaming company. Uh, we develop uh, software, uh, online game, and we have 500 engineers that have been doing Waterfall for the last 10 years, right? I call Ari and I say, hey, could you help me? I want to do an agile transformation. Could you walk me through the process of making my company go from waterfall to agile? How would you, uh, what would be the, the big or the high level? I mean, this answer could take 10 hours, right? But yeah. just in uh, 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 some high level steps, could you walk me through the process? Yeah, very simple uh, to explain, to do something different, right? Mm -hmm. So for me, it's very important if you're the CEO and uh, you want to have your organization changed, I like to make a metaphor. I would say to you, okay, for me, it's like you ask me, I want to be an athlete. Um, and uh, can you help me with a training and coaching program? Um, what I need to know is how fit are you at the moment? And what kind of an athlete do you want to be? Do you want to be a runner? Do you want to be a swimmer? Do you want to be a team player, an individual player? I don't know what you want to be, right? So I need to know where you are. I need to know where you want to go. Uh, because that will impact, especially the first stages of transformation. Um, and then an agile transformation is turned out to be very complicated. And I remember, and I, will, I always give this explanation to management teams because they ask me to do transformations. And I will say, you know, what, when I was doing agile in the late 90s, before even uh, the agile manifesto was written, I could do in one organization three, four projects in a row successfully mm -hmm. in this way of working. And every other project would be in trouble. But then the IT manager would say to me, oh, you know, uh, thank you very much. You're really doing well, but we're not going to work like you because it's so complicated. And then I always say, Agile itself is very simple, in my opinion. We have technology, of course, you can make technology as complicated as you like, but the fundament of Agile is the interaction between people. This is where you, where you save all the time and you develop all that value and all that quality that you are doing together. So for me, the interaction is simple. How come that people that are having such a position say that it is it is so complicated? And I think they're not lying to me, right? Obviously, yeah, they have the feeling it's complicated. And I found out it's a paradigm change, and that is complicated because paradigm change means that everything that your thinking is based on is changing. Mm -hmm. You know, the way you document, the way you interact, the way you... Uh, mandate people, uh, the way you report, uh, the, the way you test, everything is going to change. And that's, the, that's the, the difficult part. So your change has to be focused on creating a paradigm change. Otherwise, you will bring change because people will learn it for a short moment. But of course, then they, where they, because they do something that they didn't do before, they don't have the answer to that problem. So they implement an old solution and the, I call it innovating backward. You want to avoid that, right? So you need a roadmap for your transformation. Where are you? Where do you want to go? And you need to understand in the transformation process, you have to be agile as well. You have to think forward. You have to understand that you're going to walk a path you didn't walk before. Truths in the past no longer are truths in you know the agile way of working. Given facts are different. And that's what you need to be prepared for. And Mr. CEO, you are leading the transformation. And I don't mean that you have to know, have the knowledge to do so, but people will look at you. You have to role model as you're working. You have to do it yourself. You have to facilitate the change in the organization because a lot of changes are on the formal level. You know, you have to reorganize your operating model and decision making and everything. And then you have to make sure that your people are start to, will start to work in this way and will keep on working in this way. Right. And that's that's the leadership responsibility. And of course, there are management coaches, people that help you out. And will give you, but the role of of any leadership team in an agile transformation is the make or break.